As COVID-19 death toll across the world continues to rise, various countries are making spirited efforts to curtail the spread of the virus, including imposing a ban on all religious gatherings. Plus, TV Africa correspondent Mary Chinda, who has been monitoring the compliance of churches in Nigeria to the stay-at-home directive, joins us live via Skype from Aja, Lagos. Thank you for joining us, Mary. I'm glad to be here, Benny. Now, it's the first Sunday since the lockdown became official. You are in a field close to a church. What is the situation there? Okay, so this is officially the first Sunday, like you rightly said. And every church in this area is a shadow of itself. Normally, on a Sunday, you would have hundreds of worshippers and thousands of worshippers, especially this church um, would on a normal have about 2,000 worshippers. But as you can see, there is nobody here, not even a single soul is here. It's the same situation for most churches around the island. Churches have been closed. In fact, churches, churches started getting um, um, Le lesser number of persons coming in since the, when the Lagos state government started um, with, the, with the directive of having 50 and then having 20. You would hardly believe that today is Palm Sunday. Now on a Palm Sunday you would have uh, hundreds and thousands of Christians going to church to mark um, the, the Palm Sunday ahead of the Easter Sunday but there is not even a single soul in this church right here. All right, we do hear that in some places in Lagos, there is partial compliance. What's the mood in the Ajab part of Lagos where you are? Well, the mood is that of partial compliance, I would say, quite honestly. I'm going to pan the camera now so that you can see what's going on here. You can see that there are people um, who are just going about their lives. They are um, the, the, the Kekes and Okadas even um, has actually resumed, um, have resumed on, on, the, on, the, on the road and which is which is usual actually um, from 10 a.m. To, to 2 p.m. they are asked to go to, to um, go to the market but people in the evening they are actually going about their normal businesses in fact yesterday evening life was just very normal here and I was so stunned when I interviewed a few persons I was stunned to understand that these people do not even care as as much about their health as they care about being hungry as they care about about okay i want to start business i need to go to, go back to my shop i'm opening my shop because i need to feed and you see people who are not wearing face masks you see people who are not even putting on hand gloves people who don't even have sanitizers roaming the street and they think that the covid 19 thing is still a charade so you would say that the general mood of Lagosians in your location this morning is that of non-challenge and being carefree <laughs> Um, the general mood of Lagosians in this part concerning church is, is that of emotions. They are emotional. They want to start going to church. People are gathering in, in, in little numbers to just pray and all the mood of Lagosians away from church in this part of Lagos where I am, Aja, is that people do not, not care about their health. People do not care about hygiene. They do not care at all about COVID-19. All right, Mary Chin, I want to say thank you very much for joining us and we'll bring you, um, she will bring us more updates as events unfold. Thank you, Mary. Thank you so much, Benny.